Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at Teen Titan Spotlight on Starfire. Alright, so this is Teen Titan Spotlight, this great series from the 80s that uh, the Titans were so popular that they got the spin-off series um, to focus on their solo adventures. Um, it's called Teen Titan Spotlight. Um, luckily, George Perez did this amazing first issue cover of Starfire. So it's written by Marv Wolfman drawn by Dennis Cowan and inked by Dick Giordano. And um, I was such a huge George Perez fan at the time that um, I wasn't very fond of anyone else drawing the Titans, unless it looked really cool. And at the time, I don't think I thought this was great. But looking back on it, I think it looks really good. I like Dennis Cowan. I think he's a very original kind of uh, penciler. This is like Starfire dealing with apartheid, which, you know, was a huge issue in the 80s in Africa with Nelson Mandela and all that stuff that um, you guys remember that. And um, have you heard of the Mandela effect, by the way? Oh, I don't even want to get into that here, but um, I was just curious what you guys thought of it. Please leave me a comment if you feel like it about that. So anyway, I love Starfire. She's so great. Um, her costume is so funny because it's like basically a metal bikini and it's definitely, she was sort of, uh, I don't know, George Perez has answered a storm probably in the X-Men. Um, you know, the Teen Titans were very popular at the same time that the Uncanny X-Men were and a lot of people, you know, made comparison and stuff. But I really think that the Titans sort of stood on their own as like a very different kind of thing. You know, because they were all, well, teenagers, I think, probably seemed more like young adults at the time, but they didn't have, like, a, a, a Professor Xavier, per se, looking over them. They kind of did their own thing. Don't you love all these old ads uh, of books from the 80s that you probably forgot about? Anyway, this was probably, like, super political and didn't mean a lot to me at the time. <laughs> I don't know. I know that sounds apathetic, but when you're like 10 years old and um, you don't really give a crap about stuff like that. Oh, there's that Secret Origins. I covered that. If you guys uh, if you guys subscribe to my channel, hit like and all that stuff, then you can watch all the videos. I cover a lot of stuff from the 80s and the 90s and the 70s, my favorite eras. I mean, I love the 60s too, but that's far past when I started collecting. I don't have anything from the 60s and I never really sought out too much from the past. It's like, like when I first started, this is issue two, by the way, same creative team, Marv Wolfman, Dennis Cowan, Dick Giordano. Um, Dick Giordano and Dennis Cowan seem like a pretty good fit for inking here. I'm pretty particular about inkers and um, Dick Giordano does not look great to me on people like uh, John Byrne and George Perez, Perez, but he brings a lot to the table here, I feel. Anyway, so there are some fun stories that came out of this. I, would, I love these kind of books where, you know, it like just takes the time to give us a focus on a separate character that, you know, doesn't have their own book and um, and it's fun. I mean, Starfire is such a great character. I, I'm glad that to see her have maintained such popularity throughout the years and be included in things like the cartoon and the TV show. I really loved how they did her in Titans on the TV show. I thought it was a great way to translate it because aside from, I don't know, I mean, unless they did like a Gamora thing with a full body paint, like I could, wouldn't mind seeing that in a movie version if they did like a full gold body paint with, uh, you know, some full on green eyes. Anyway, that's Teen Titans Spotlight starring Starfire. The first two issues that kicked off the series, great series from the 80s. I recommend it. Check it out. If you own it, dust it off, read it again. These covers are alone are amazing, especially this great one by Paris. I've never seen uh, Starfire's power work like that before. So that's kind of cool that he used it like that. Anything George Perez touched was magic. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Hit like. Share my content. And I'll bring you some more later. Thanks, guys.